the church of St Luke's in a town called Haywood looks like a lovely, lovely building full of history, full of wonder, full of religion, full of a vacuum cleaner. Thanks to a lovely Facebook page called Reading Vacuums where church people post up pictures of cleaners found in churches. I have a project from St Luke's. I nice chat called Keith, got talking to me after I commented on the post that this cleaner came in because it is something potentially quite special in here. What is in here? Well in here we have a Hoover Junior 119 that has been forgotten, put into storage, abandoned and not turned on. Apparently I've been informed in over 30 years. Let's see what we've got. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? I have a good covering of newspaper for this video because in the pictures that I have seen of the machine, it looks a bit dirty. And obviously you know I never normally care too much about that, but this looked like something else. I don't know if it has been restored, well not restored, Restored. If it's been restored, I wouldn't know it. If it's been wiped down at all. So we'll play it safe. We have a lovely box. I run a print company. So, little plug for Bamford Print Limited. It's the key Bamford is the person who got in touch with me about this. So, there you go. Can you have a little plug? What have we here? Well, the first thing out of the box is the top handle and it's not too bad it's filthy and there's a couple of little rust spots but by the time they've wiped off yeah you know, this is going to be a mint restoration it's going to be a practical one however what might need to be changed is the handle grip I think this has been somewhere that's been very hot because that is White ruined really. Probably, I'm gonna try and see if anybody's got a scrap junior with the original handle on it. Otherwise, might have to lose that and put something else on it. Basically, everything else is together. Oh gosh, it hasn't been white. Uh. Oh. There it is, folks. A Hoover Junior 119 in phenomenal condition, as in phenomenally dirty and disgusting. Just what we like. So, what have we here? We have a beautiful age appropriate Volex plug. Very nice is that. Look, we'll keep that. The cable is original but the whole thing is too far gone for me to really consider it safe I mean, obviously the odd crack is fine unfortunately that is we're going to turn it on with it but yeah literally even in places where it looks good as soon as you bend it it just perishes so it's going to have to see a new cable just because it's going back to the church. And I'd rather not be responsible for electrocuting anybody. So yeah, it will see a new cable. Let's, let's, let's have a look a bit closer at the machine. This is amazing. The dirt is quite something really. It is caking off, coming off in chunks. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here we have the original bag. This is an original bag bespoke to this cleaner. But what I noticed in the pictures was 
we have some tape. And I'm really, really hoping that under this tape isn't too badly damaged because I want to try and save this bag if possible. I can't actually see a hole. Wow, we might get lucky here. I think there might be a small hole there, which is fine. That, <laughs> Mikey, my son weighed less than that when he was born. Crumbs, we'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm going to put that down there though. Mikey, that is decades of dust. And we'll have a look at the machine itself in all of its disgusting glory to be quite honest with you. This is, I'm gonna say the word terrible because it is, but it's terrible in a good way. This has not seen the light of day for years. I mean, I've no idea what the paint works like. It's very rusty. There is no saving that at all, sadly. And I don't think I've got and proper spare, so we need at least a Julia front plate and a handle top. But, there's a big chunk of wood. The motor does turn, there's no belt. The motor turns. The rear wheels look okay. Let's turn, well in fact, let's see if the handle reclines. It does, and it still springs. Oh, let's turn it upside down. Where we see it's not too bad. Actually, it's full of carpet fluff. If I don't know if I can release the no, that one moves. Let's take the brush file out. Let me reposition myself and we'll take this brush fold out because that is something else. There we go, I've just moved my lights because I noticed that looks a little bit dull on my viewfinder. So on these, you lift up these metal tabs, which, oh, there it goes, does lift up the brush fold. Now, it's always a lot easier to do this with a belt fitted, but we don't have that luxury. Sadly, uh, there's not really any way you can pry, because I don't want to damage the end caps too much. You also can't really push it. Ah, there we go. Oh, hello. Aha. So we have and brush roll with what looks like. Oh just about turned with what looks like a good couple of decades of vestibule, I'm not quite sure what you call the carpet in a church, the pew carpet inside of it. However, if I just scrape away a little bit of this, the brush strips aren't horrific. I was a bit worried. I think what's happened is the belt snapped crikey before I was born. And it's, they try to use it. See, those bus strips, they're not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad either. That's, let's see if we can get one of the brush roll bearings out. I think we can. It does turn though, it's gonna be very dry, but it does turn. We'll put that back there, yeah, look. It, oh. There's something iffy with that inside, well, there's bits of plastic. It really is quite something how dirty this is. You can see it everywhere is full of chunks of carpet. I'd imagine that if I can take these two screws off, oh, one turns. This is the worst screwdriver I have, by the way. <laughs> Uh, two. Ooh, 
Ooh. There we go. Look, lots of ancient cobwebs. I am half expecting something horrible to come crawling out of here at any moment. But we can have a look at the commutator, which is fine. So that's good. The internal wiring doesn't seem too bad, but I can't test that until it's all apart. That's all right. I must date it. The guy, Keith, said it was from 1954. And I don't actually know. I didn't ask him really because I can date it with the serial number. I know a man who has them. He said it's from 1954. And that could be correct. That could very well be right. Oh, let's have a closer look at everything else. So yeah, let's oh, put that down. There's just hate on everywhere. It's beautiful to see. I don't normally see them like this. Normally they at least get wiped down, you know, before That is astonishing. The switch clicks as well. I think what I'm going to do is, because it is spewing rubbish everywhere, I'm going to give it a, we're going to vacuum it off <laughs> so that I can, you know, touch it really. God, there's, that's why the belt snapped. Look, there's loads of hair all over there. So yeah, I'm going to go get a vacuum cleaner. That's sounding less bad now, just from me turning it. And we'll get the worst of this off, so we can touch it a bit more. Let's just do this fog plate. As far gone as it is, look. There we go. There's our Hoover logo. Now immediately I can see that the paint is trashed completely and utterly ruined 
badly. So there's no point in saving that too much. It's going to have to be repainted somehow. But we can give it a bit of a clean just so that you know, we can let that soak in a little bit I think. worst off so that I can move it without making myself filthy every time I touch it. There we are, look. Marvellous. So that is a bit cleaner on that side anyway. The baker light shouldn't be too tricky just to wipe down. We won't go nuts here because it will get its full refurb in time. I just cannot keep carrying it around looking like that or I will just make everything very dirty. that'll wipe down just because we can. I'm not going to bother doing too much with that because it's going to have to be stripped and stripped and um, blah, 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 painted anyway but that is instantly a lot better. Let's try and get this off. much as we can there we go look it's coming it's been on there for so long it's rusted itself on So there's that part done. I mean, well, actually, I haven't done the handle. Not a great deal I can do about this handle, though, really. Because of the handle grip. Big shame, but they do that, you see. That's the, the rubber on the handle gets really old. And just, oh, oh gosh, forgot about the clips did that. It just falls apart, sadly. There's nothing can be done about it. We'll pop all this back on. Oh, it's lovely though. So nice to see one as it comes. I'm already planning what to do with this. It should come out quite well because now, now I've seen that the motor turns, I'm going to be honest, it probably runs very well. These always do because there is nothing really to them to make them not. It'll sound really dry and I'm going to have to replace the cable because it's just too perish for me to want to let it back into what is essentially a commercial environment. You know, it's not just if it was me having it to turn on twice a year and look pretty I wouldn't bother. But because it's not, it can't go back as it was. So there we go, looking a fair bit better. Next thing I want to do is try and get this empty. Now the problem is it's rusted onto the bag slide. As this obviously has been stored in a very damp place. And the way to do that is to the way to get this off is to very gingerly so you don't damage the bag bend out the bag slide, and no, that was easy, look. and then it lets go. So there is our bag slide in need of a 
for repainting. Oh my gosh. I can't even, I don't think I'll be able to get this out. You can't even see in there. Let's try and empty it. Oh, right. Nothing's gonna actually. There it is coming. It's just full of carpet fibres, look. Obviously worked very well. I need to stand downwind. Oh, the people complain about Bagner's vacuum cleaners being difficult to wear, being dirty to empty. I think I'd rather. Oh. This should have been emptied many years ago. I've always got a red carpet at St Luke's or did have. I don't know. Oh, we have a, a sweet wrapper. Vintage Hubba Bubba look. Just carpet fluff. Oh, more vintage Hubba Bubba. Tissue. I think there's anything I can, like a till machine or something. That would be quite nice. Oh look! We found the belt, look. No. <laughs> Nothing to date, but it might have last been used. But, we now have ourselves an empty cloth bag. Oh, I can close that. Oh, just give it a... Now hopefully... Oh, I, I hate this bit. Especially if it's not your dirt, if you know what I mean. I know I'm never one to be a screamish man, as you know. This bag is in remarkably good condition though. This is nice to see. There we go. Get my hand into it now, but in a nice way. And you've got to push the end out because that's where. There we go. Much better. Right, let's go back inside. Because I feel we are now clean enough to not need the newspaper. Now what I'm going to do next is vacuum off this bag. will stabilise it basically. The problem with these is, is that they rot and this hasn't. This is in fantastic condition and I'm probably going to wash it pretty soon just so that I can store it washed really. Now we've got to turn it in, now the outside is more dusty than, than the inside.
there we go, that will do now. Underneath all that tape is actually where the bag has got thin. So there's no real tears or rips, it's just thin. That is fine because I have plans for this. All we need is the actual bag itself to look lovely. I'm going to attempt Well that was simple, look we have bus strips and they are, they are splayed, they are warm but in the absence of anything better they are very good. What is noticeable though, look, is the Hoover logo, they are original, well at least OEM Hoover, bus strips which is good to see. So we shall put the bag back into its slide. He says, not wanting to really force it, that'll do. <laughs> Don't want to force it too much. And then very quickly, I want to have a quick look at the plug, but I don't actually think I have the right size screwdriver to open it on me. So I think we won't bother. What we shall bother with though is, I have a belt, but no. No, 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 I'll be very silly. Let's leave all that there and let this plug meet some electricity for the first time since I was one year old. Where we can come and use the RCD protected socket that is in my mother's garage. So, I don't know if it's on or off. Ready? Right, that didn't work. You ready? That is excellent. I think some of that cloud of dust was from the driveway rather than through it, but that runs really well. Right, back inside. So because we know it runs, I think that we should make it vacuum. For the first time in a very long time. So we shall fit the belt. Lift these back up. There we go. Put that in there. Follow the instructions to get the belt on. There we go. We'll fit the bag. Not a very tight fit on the bag, admittedly, because the seal is not there. We'll hang the bag up. And that's it. The Hoover Junior 119 is ready to see some carpet. For the first time in... Oh, I'm going to get horrible. A very long time indeed. <laughs>
it's a little bit noisy. But works surprisingly well. So there we go, folks. <laughs> Amazing. Cosmetically, it is ruined, really. Absolutely terrible. However, mechanically, considering it hasn't been turned on in apparently probably more than 30 years, that runs surprisingly well. The brush roll bearings are scrap, which is fair enough. There is a little squeak, which coming from the front wheels, but she runs and drives and is ready to go into the pile to be refurbished. It's not going to be a quick job, I will admit. Going to take a little while. I am charging for this, not as much as I normally would because I thought I'd be charitable. And have the project really. This is excellent. This is going to test a lot of my skills. It's definitely going to need these two spare parts. Might need some more, but nothing that won't be cheap and easy because these are still very common in various forms. So any bits I need, it is just going to be cheaper to pick up another machine, I think. So there we go. From St Luke's Church in Hayward, which is up above Manchester, it's near Berry. I Google mapped it. To hear in Buckinghamshire, and tonight, a bit further up north of Oxfordshire, which is where I live, put it into storage for a bit, till I figure out a plan, really. That is it. This is going to be amazing. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.